for so years. So now you're constantly worried about your future. And for uh, for ladies, me yeah, when you're 23, 24, they're expecting you that they're you're aunties. in a solid relationship they're of some sort. So it becomes this whole you're stressing in your head, you're stressing about your future because you also thought you were gonna be driving a car by 24. You thought you were going to be happy. You're going to move in alone by 23, 22 over. You know, day. you know, but nothing like that happens. channel my name is miss pookie and if you're new here please do like comment share and subscribe here's not the drill and if you're not welcome back to my channel so today you guys i have a, a resident of this <laughs> channel please introduce yourself hey guys my name is robo fadza dambire <laughs> this is robo fadza dambire guys you all know her and after this do check the channel out as uh, she's been doing a very very interesting interesting series for wise people if you're not wise don't watch it don't watch it but yeah so today we're going to be talking she doesn't know what i'm doing so yeah today we're going to be talking about being in your 20s right mm -hmm. i'm in my early 20s and she's in her almost mid 20s so we've got like two different views so yeah let's get it so the first thing that i was going to talk about is so let me look Boy, for my <laughs> let me look for my notes. Um oh Jesus Christ, did they lose me? Okay. Okay, so being in your twenties, um how was the transition for you from <laughs> from high school to university? Because that's like from your teens now into your twenties. So, guys, I was not ready. <laughs> I'm not it's not even intense. I. It's not even intense. Wow. Uh -huh. Um, I think my transition was quite interesting, actually. Um, I think one of the things that you you actually notice when you're growing up and transitioning is you've got a lot of responsibilities and. You you are making a lot of decisions now by yourself without um, anyone telling you to do this and that. So it can go either two ways. It can go in a very good way. It can go in a very bad way. For me, it was in the middle. Mm -hmm. I made some bad decisions along the way. But nevertheless, I think part of growing up is for you to just realize that it's all part of life and you forgive yourself and you how was yours <laughs> how was yours okay thank you for the question um i don't know for me it was quite weird because i left high school quite early more than like earlier than my other peers i left like two years earlier so i was like okay this 17 year old girl is coming to university right and you know how in high school there's consultation there's you know sometimes when you do homework your parents have to sign in all that university they don't care yeah the lecturer does not care so it was just that whole frightening thing like oh my god um what if there's none to keep track and everything i'm going to fail um mm -hmm. i'm always going to stay in line try and stay in line and not make any mistakes because i'm scared my men dad are not here and i'm all by myself now so it was quite shaky yeah but now oh, I'm now, <laughs> now i'm now good uh the second question is you're transitioning from being a teen to a young I feel like you put the question one, like all the all the answers, but okay. From being a teen to <laughs> a young adult. why you tell someone what you're going to talk about. <laughs> so <laughs> they stay <laughs> red. <laughs> Let's continue. Yes. From being a teen to a young adult. And I want you to like talk about the financial struggles, like what you're talking about. Now just elaborate. Sure, guys. <laughs> okay, for me, um, in terms of going from becoming a teen into a young adult, mm -hmm. um, there is a first thing there, but the I think let me start with the finance, fin financial side. Yo, guys, it took, I think until now I'm not, I'm not yet there, guys. I'm not like I think one thing that kills us as young people is how okay 
not i can't even say that okay let me take it from a personal basis mm -hmm. growing up at our family like my parents are not those people that would just be like yeah you need money oh okay here you go <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. it's not like so that. even when i got my first job because i started working um after, right after high school i took a gap year and i worked for that year so i get like 200 was it 250 or 200 US dollars i think it was 250 US dollars and guys that, that money was a lot but <laughs> you'd spend it i'll spend it until this day i don't even know what i spent it on like uh, you know it kills me because now i'm in university and i'm like shit that was like a lot of money only if, if i, I had that money today i would not have spent it that way so yeah and then so it's now money management if it had been taught at an earlier stage how to mm -hmm. save um how you plan with your money i think that could have saved me a lot okay so for me my transitioning i think i'm mommy's girl mm. okay i don't think i know i'm mommy's girl so you know like how back there in high school my mom would do every single thing for me right it's not, she doesn't spoil but then i'm her baby you know type of thing so it's like when i get sick we go to the hospital mama tells the doctor what's wrong with me right mama buys the toiletries mama buys the clothes mama buys every single thing mm. right now you come to uni, right? You go to the hospital, you have to tell the doctor what's wrong with you. <laughs> you don't know what's wrong, but you have to tell him, right? Um, you have to, okay, financially, you have to buy your own things now. Yeah. It's, oh my goodness, I cannot handle the situation. <laughs> you have to buy your own things, Touch. guys. Touch. I mean, we get enough money, right? Yeah. But then we want the extra things. Back in the day, we used to get... Okay, we never used to get a lot of it's money. It's that thing of um, needs versus wants. Yeah. And then put my wants... <laughs> Before you I put my wants on top. I put my wants on top. And with growing, I actually learned the concept of self-love, right? And now you'll be like, okay, no, fair and fine. I'm going to buy my needs, right? Mm -hmm. But then I also have to put that money aside to spoil me. But then we go overboard. <laughs> Some of us go overboard with the whole thing. So yeah, and then with the self love also comes with the emotions, right? Mm -hmm. Back in the day, okay, when I was a teen, 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 I was that person who never knew how to, you know, talk about her emotions, um, communicate about anything going on in her life. But then now I made a I made a better point mm -hmm. of saying no, this and this and that. I can communicate better though it's really really hard because now they think you're an adult yeah. right but then you're struggling you're struggling adults young adult right <laughs> you're struggling and people think most people think that okay at this time of your life you're putting your things in order yeah. but everything is sadly i mean there's so <laughs> the many nights reality. where we cry ourselves to sleep because you literally don't know what's going on in your life yeah. nothing is wrong but everything is wrong you get it? Yeah. But then when you're, when you're young, mommy was always there. You know, you'd be like, mommy, this and this and this and this. Mama sorts it out. They did this and this and this. They sort it out. I think even as you're talking, I'm actually realizing that... Now I'm realizing. I know. Mm -hmm. Growing up is so hard because even when you are there in your teens, you're not thinking so much about... Yes, you've got some type of a plan about what you're going to do with your life and how... You, in fact, you have it all mapped out. Exactly. When you... When you when you're done with high school, you're supposed to be in university. Three you're supposed years. to be studying. You know, um, the, you're becoming if you're in Zimbabwe, you're becoming a doctor, a lawyer, right? And wait, one thing in high school, you plan. Okay, I'm going to spend three years. You say three years, but then you don't know the struggle that when you come to university, you're going to spend six uh -huh. years for that three year degree. <laughs> six years. Uh -huh. So you you've got to plan out, right? And you re okay. After you realize after six, okay, I might not be a doctor after all. Like <laughs> this shit is hard. <laughs> even when you're not even an upper six, form four, there when you by when by the there by the results, you realize nah, oh. I ain't going with those. I ain't going anywhere with those marks. I'm not going to become a, a doctor. Mm -hmm. And then you have to change your plan, readjust it to what you have, and. You've got a plan B, and maybe you're going to become, I don't know, whatever, mm -hmm. not a doctor though. And then you, after A level, you realize, damn, I don't think I'm gonna do that after all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then you go to you go to university, 
and you realize okay so whatever i plan okay i mean for some of us it does pan out mm -hmm. but then for i think most of us whatever we dreamt of never actually came to pass and then you realize okay i'm in university i'm so, I was supposed to take four years and you realize damn there is this one module this one or two modules that kill you that literally you're like am i gonna graduate am I? and you get to a point where you're like okay and then when, when you're about to finish you start thinking oh god i'm growing up now i'm not going to be depending on my parents for shit i'm so sorry but i think I'm wait i'm sorry we've got kids yeah we've got kids yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. like <laughs> what was i saying yes yeah, so you depending on your parents yes I am growing up. I'm grown. I'm a grown woman. I have to take care. I mean, okay, when I was in university, people, my parents were paying. Even when you get to university, most parents, I realize I've been talking to some of the, my colleagues exactly. and everything. Most parents, when they get their children to university, they're like, yeah, she can take care of her, yeah, herself. Oh. He can take care of himself. And I'm like, I know some of us call our parents every single time. But then you also get to a point where you're like, I'm in my fourth year and you you know that you're going to be getting a job soon. Wait, not soon. You might not get it in like the next three or so years. So now you're constantly worried about your future. And for uh, for ladies, yeah, when you're 23, 24, they're expecting you that they're you're aunties. in a solid relationship of some sort. So it becomes this whole you're stressing in your head, you're stressing about your future because you also thought you were going to be driving a car by 24. You thought you were going to be having... You're going to move in alone by 23, 22 over there. You know, day. you know, but nothing like that happens. So you're like... <laughs> it's yeah. not like what we see in the movies. It's not like that at They're all. They're always lying to us. They're <laughs> lying to us. No, but like what you're saying that even when you get to uni, right, you're like, okay, I'm going to study tourism, right? Yeah. Fine, 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 fine. Three months down... Uh, second semester you'd be like nah it's not for me it's not for me <laughs> and you see that you're changing after two years and you'd be like nah nah that's not for literally, me literally i feel like that's even what's happening with me right now i exactly. feel like i studied tourism and i'm there in fact i realized that after my second year and i was like after i wasn't i was i didn't <laughs> for use me it was my first semester <laughs> i didn't use reading at unam um unam radio and i had my own show for like two weeks <laughs> the most fun that i had in that year and I was like, I love this. Okay, I don't, I didn't like news reading because you had to do the, you had to write up the news by yourself. And, but the show, the show guys, because you have your own content, you are the one who decides what will the people listen to. So that was so much fun. Really? And I really, yeah. How come I never knew about this? I knew you, okay. I knew you did news reading, <laughs> but then, okay, okay. So I had so much fun and I realized I love this. Mm -hmm. I love this. And then third year, I became public relations officer at UNAM Choir. And I realized I loved emceeing. I loved marketing. And I'm like, I think I'm doing the wrong course. Like, if I had been doing media, girl. You'd be somewhere I'd be... right now. You'd be somewhere. But, <laughs> so that was me halfway through um, university. And I realized. Shit. No, I think something like this <laughs> is now like a battle between your passion and reality yeah. type of thing. Like, okay, as much as you love this, some people cannot make their passion a living. Yeah. Some can, some can't, True. right? So as much as we like media, we also need, like, something that will sustain us. Yeah. But then at some point, we're just going to have to choose <laughs> the passion. I'm going to so the that's the decision-making right there. That, that, that's what that stresses <laughs> us. So, yeah, mm, with a lot of new responsibilities, people tend to change in the past years, right? Mm -hmm. How have you changed character and personality wise? Sure. <laughs> I've become very open. Mm -hmm. I've become very open and very open and closed at the same time. I'm open to what I want, but I'm close to what I don't want. If I don't talk to you, don't talk to me and I'm going to shut you out and I'm not going to tolerate you. Like back in the day, I'll be like, okay, it's fine. Everyone get in, get into my heart. You know, it's all free. It's all free. But then now it's like, no, you got I don't want. Heart. And I can stand up for myself now. Back in the day, I used to cry. Oh, in high school, I used yeah. to cry almost every day. No, this person did this. But then I was like, uncle, auntie, Barbara, go away. Yeah. Now I'm um, a man. <laughs> <laughs> for me, I think the greatest thing that has ever happened to me in the journey of, of growing up or transitioning is the confidence. 
just being able i mean i've i think i've always been quite a confident person but at this stage i think i'm more confident than i ever was i can stand in front of the president and not feel shy <laughs> that type of confidence yeah, true, believing that type of confidence that makes me believe in myself and believe in my dreams and makes me want to chase after my dreams so it's now even about okay i don't have money i look for ways to make the money i'm not just they going to sit there and be like mommy yeah money. i'm broke i'm broke no. i mean of course sometimes you you plan you uh, do this businesses and sometimes they don't work out but it's that thing where you buy you realizing okay cool i'm growing up there's certain things that I have to start doing now. If I don't have to money, I have to find ways of looking for money. I'm not just going to sit there and make money doesn't rain. Money does not come walking to you. You have to work for it. Mm -hmm. So it's the confidence. It's um, taking time to work to realize that you have to you have to put in the work for you to get what you, you want. Get to the results. Because for me, I know I'm a lover of things. I like of things. I like nice things. I like nice perfumes. True I like that. to dress up. I like nice food. So exactly. at the end of the day, I'm like, okay, the money that I'm getting from home just doesn't cut it for what I want exactly. and for who I want to be in life. So I have to, I have to grind. Mm -hmm. I have to grind. And people, you know, back in the days, you used to be, I'd be like, but no, people can't see me selling certain things, ne? Because it's me, it's Ropa Fazo. No. A girl from Eaglesville, a girl at Yuna, me, the, 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 the popular girl at Yuna. No, never. These days, hey. hi, sweetie, hi. I'm selling earrings. <laughs> sweetie, I can do your laundry for you. Sweetie, join Element, guys, join Element. <laughs> join Element, she's doing, okay, she's. Should yeah, DM her, DM her, guys. She'll tell you I'm so, sorry. It's that type of thing where, but you, 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 when you're growing up, you realize, no, I have to do certain things for me. Because we cannot afford ourselves. Some of us are expensive. Yeah. We're expensive. <laughs> We're just being humble for now because we cannot afford ourselves. <laughs> but yeah, we, we hustle. Yeah. We hustle. hustle. Last question. How do you deal with fading friendships that you thought they were going to last forever? Sure, I'm the wrong person to ask. I know you this. are. I know you are. I can answer. I am. As soon as I say that, no, you're not. You're not for me. Mm -hmm. Not like for me. Like no, you're not rich enough. Or if you're not there to support me when I need you, if you're not there to be there for me when I need you, mm -hmm. right? Like we said, we're, we're hustling, right? Yeah. If we, need, we hustle, right? And I cannot be there every time. Um, now I'm selling this and this and this. Ropa sees it. She knows that she's got customers and then she doesn't help me out. Mm -hmm. You cannot be a friend who's like that. Yeah. You cannot be a friend who, let's say I'm going through something. You're like, no, Pookie, you know, I cannot do this right now with you. What, 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 what? I cut you off. And I'm, I cut you off. For those who know me, I cut you off. And I'm not even scared. <laughs> I used to cry back in the day, but now, hey, I'm just going to block you and we move on with life. I'm gonna talk about losing um, everything. Yeah, I'm very much okay with having two to five friends, mm -hmm. and I mean, a crowd doesn't please me anymore if they are not doing good to my heart. So yeah, do you have anything to talk about it? <laughs> no, I think I get very emotional when I talk about this topic yeah, because I know. I'm a very loving person. Or at least I think I'm a very loving person, and. You know how you're talking about when you're like, my heart is open. That's me. <laughs> my heart is open. So it, it's always, it, it hurts me a lot when I lose people that I thought were my friends. Or at least when I thought I've been a friend to this person. And then at the end of the day, they don't support you. They don't. And there's some people who think, who always manage to turn it around and make themselves the victim. And yeah, you're true. like, but you're not the victim here. If anything, I thought I was the victim. Mm -hmm. Or at least uh, if you want this relationship. Yeah, so you have to meet each other halfway and make the friendship make the friendship work. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so it's very emotional for me because I have lost quite a lot of friends or along the way. And I thought this was my sister. This yeah. was my friend. And I think it still hurts until now because sometimes you see them and you they they're posting with their new friends and you're like, honey, I was best for be you, us. baby. Yeah, true. <laughs> so yeah, so yeah, cool rough there by the friendships and, um, and by the ships, <laughs> by the ships, by the ships. But I think 
uh, most importantly, it's to just appreciate the friendships that you have, um, the ones that have stood by you from day one. So if my day ones are watching this, if they've ever watched this, shout out to you guys. I, mean, I love yeah. you. <laughs> so yeah, that is it for now. I think I'm going to call you again for some reaction thing. Okay. We're going to uh, ask. I'm going to ask uh, if you if you don't follow me, Miss Pookie is my IG username. Follow me. I'm going to have that question and answer segment where you guys are going to tell me about your struggles, about your struggles being in your twenties. <laughs> <laughs> to repeat that, yeah. So Miss Pookie. So yeah, that's it for now. Thank you very much, Miss Ropa Papa Papa Ropa Papa Papa Fire. <laughs> uh, please don't forget to visit her channel and guys like i said last time we did a video on our journey with god and i did update my links in my description box so if you go on that previous video in my description box you'll find the video that i did on her channel and i'm sure that you guys will yes, have girls. it check it out but for now guys <laughs> thank you very much